Hi, it's Wendell Odom, and welcome to this version of Techie Topics. In this one, we're going to talk about picking the shortest subnet mask to meet some requirements. In particular, that there be no overlap between IP addresses. So let's talk about what I mean by that first. If you've got a subnet mask and you list it in prefix format, like this slash 8, slash 16, and slash 24 mask that you see there, if you go right to left in this drawing, that's shorter. 16 is shorter than 24, 8 is shorter than 16, of course. Now when you do that, that also in that same direction means the subnets are bigger. In other words, a, sub, a, a mask of slash 8 gives you a larger subnet than a mask of slash 16. For instance, let's just say I took class A network 10 and used subnet mask slash 8. That gives me 2 to the 24th minus 2 IP addresses. So that's a pretty big subnet. Then if I compare that to that same uh, network, let's take one subnet of it, say 10100 with a slash 16 mask, that's only 2 to the 16th minus 2 addresses in that one subnet. So it's uh, the slash 16 mask gives you a smaller subnet than the slash 8 did, but the slash 8 is a shorter mask using this kind of terminology. Now for the CCNA and CCENT exams, you might think about questions where they ask you to pick the shortest mask for which there's no overlap, where they've already supplied some IP addresses. For instance, here in this question, we've got three routers. We're only going to focus on the LAN subnets, one on the left, one up there on the top of router R2, and one on the far right. And for our purposes, we'll ignore the two WAN subnets and just assume a single subnet, single VLAN. And the question starts out telling you these three red IP addresses, and those are the IP addresses on the LAN interfaces of those three routers. Our job is to find the mask that creates no overlap, but it's the shortest, it's the smallest number in prefix format. So let's take a look at this particular problem. Over on the left with router R1, we've got 10.1.33.1. And let's just say, for the sake of argument, we've got a slash 24 mask. Well, if we take that IP address and do the usual math, we'll figure out that the range of numbers in that subnet is 10.1.33.0 through 10.1.33.255. Now, I've included both the subnet ID and the subnet broadcast address in there. Uh, the valid range of addresses is one bigger and one smaller than those. In the second subnet, we'll have 10.1.35.0 through 10.1.35.255. And with this nice easy slash 24 mask, we get 10136.0 through 10136.255. So if everybody uses that slash 24 mask, we don't have any overlap between the three subnets. Now your algorithm, if you will, it's not a complicated algorithm, but let's just say we still want to find the shortest prefix that if we use the same prefix length in all three subnets, there's no overlap. Well, here's your process to find the shortest. If there's no overlap, you, you pick one, like slash 24, and if there's no overlap, you pick the next shorter, one shorter mask. So in this case, of course, one shorter than slash 24 is going to be slash 23. So let's replace our slash 24 with a slash 23, and now let me go around and adjust the ranges of addresses in each of those. Turns out with a slash 23 mask, 10.1.33.1 is in subnet 10.1.32.0, same broadcast address. Over in the middle subnet, the subnet number is 10.1.34.0, same broadcast address. And on the right, it's the same subnet ID of 36.0 with a broadcast of 37.255. Now, if you look at those three subnets, there's still no overlap between those ranges of numbers. So if you want to find the shortest prefix, one shorter again. So let's back it up to slash 22. And the subnet on the left with the slash 22 mask, that 10.1.33.1 address gives us that subnet with a different subnet broadcast address. <clears throat> in the middle, we calculate the subnet ID again, and that's 10.1.32.0. And over on the right, we've got a new subnet broadcast. Of course, if you look at the center and left subnets, notice they are indeed the exact same subnet now, and overlap exists. So slash 22 creates an overlap, slash 23 didn't. So slash 23 is the shortest prefix length, shortest mask that does not cause an overlap. So that's the basic process on how to find the shortest mask that doesn't cause an overlap. Of course, you need to be able to do your subnetting math pretty easily to do that. Now, if you want another one to work on, I'd actually pose this problem in my CCENT skills blog. That's at ccentskills.certskills.com. 
sorry, it doesn't end in .com there. Let me instead say it's CCNT skills, and then uh, you can look up at the top right corner for the search skills part for the rest of the domain name. And if you want another one to work on, take this same example that you see in the video, and let's uh, do that question, but change R1's IP address. And we're going to change that IP address to the following. Let me find my notes here. Yes, router one G00 is going to now be 10.1.15.1. And I'll have the answer over at the blog. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you another day.